So I thought I would do a get ready with me just for funsies. I figured I would show how I do regular, regular old makeup look for me on any given day. Lately, I've been doing my eye makeup first. So the first thing that I do is I start with an eye makeup primer. This one is from Sigma Beauty, and I really like it because it is in this sort of twist up pen form, and I just feel like it's much easier to put on the eye. Now this one is pretty light. The color is, girl, it just says eyeshadow base primer. Oh, the color is Ignite. Um, it's okay that it's light because eyeshadow is going to go on top of it. So I put a bit on and then I blend it out, usually with a brush because I kind of always have nails. But this is the, oh, we don't talk about them. This is a brush that from a company I don't buy from no more. Um, so <laughs> any kind of brush you want or even your fingers, just if you have long nails, don't poke yourself. Um, so all you do is blend it out. Now the palette that I plan to use this week is the Nabla side-by-side -side nude palette. I was really interested in this because of the colors. Oh, girl, who did that? I had to press one down a bit. So I really enjoy this color scheme. As you can see, I have already been using it. Uh, typically what I do is I use a brush to pack on most often like a lighter shade or a shimmer. This is the Sigma E25 blending brush. So I will just go into the palette. I think I like this color. This is called Magic Moment. I don't know what happened to it. Looks like something my cat. Anyway, so I pick up the color on a brush and sometimes I just tap a little bit so that all the excess can come out or come off because I don't want all of that to fall on my face, which, you know, just gives it a bit more glittery, I guess, look. So especially when I am like in a rush, I'm sort of just throwing the color on, <laughs> just like get it on the lid as fast as you can. So once I have this pretty much on the lid, then I will go in with a darker color around the crease and the outer V. So this is a Sigma E35. So I will just pick some colors that I think go well with the glitter or shimmer that I picked and pretty much I'm thinking this color here and maybe this color over here and if I need to deepen any of them I will tap into the black. So ooh, first I will take tempera. I thought it was tempura but it's not tempura it says tempera and what I do is I usually just start on the outer corner you can see that this brush is like a fluffy brush, but not too fluffy. We don't wanna, you know, get too crazy. Um, and then I put it on the outer V. And I also then sort of create a crease for myself up here. So as you can see, this eye has a bit more dimension than this eye that just has the shimmery color on it. Girl, say, what are you doing? That's my cat. Okay, <laughs> so then I go in with a brow pencil. Rose, get out of there, please. Thank you. Now this brow pencil is from Revolution Pro and it is in dark brown. So I tend to use dark brown. I think when I was younger, I would use black. I don't know why. <laughs> I think I was just like, well, my hair is black. So obviously my brows need to be black, but sometimes using black can be a bit too harsh and we don't want that. I mean, maybe you do, do you boo? Rosé. Rosé, Rosé, can you get out of there, please? Come on. 
Thank you. Once I do my brows, then I usually will put on primer since by this time, all my skincare and stuff is definitely um, settled into my skin. Today, I'm thinking that I am going to do a luminous kind of foundation. This is the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation in the shade Manaz. So that means that I'm going to grab a primer that is a bit more matte because the foundation, oops, the foundation is one that's a bit more luminous. So here I have the Fenty Matte Primer. Usually I just take some, put it on my face. And you don't need a lot. You can see that I use it because <laughs> even with just using a little bit, I'm definitely going through the primer. So I will put primer on. And then another thing that I've been doing is I have been using this Kopari Starry Eye Balm. Typically I'll put on an eye cream of some sort in the morning and at night because you know, sometimes sleep is not your friend. But I like to use this because it gives some like hydration or at least the look of hydration under the eyes so that once I put my concealer on, it's not super dry. Mainly because <laughs> I tend to use um, high coverage matte concealers. Now, one that I'm trying to pan and like finish is this one from Tarte. Uh, shape tape, uh, I'm not foundation, shape tape concealer. Um, it's like nothing in here, but I'm trying to get every last penny worth. So, take my um, concealer and I just put some here in like the areas that are that I want to conceal. And yes, I'm doing my concealer first. I just started doing that. I don't know why. I'll probably switch back to doing it after foundation at some point. So I put the concealer here and on the outer edges of my eyes to hopefully like um, lift them a little bit. <laughs> and then I will often put some on my forehead for us to blend out and just sort of down the T-zone area. So basically, I'm using the concealer as a way to highlight the areas of my face that I want to highlight. I think I can say this is done. I don't know. Man, uh, uh, I think I can say it's done. Then, depending on if I wet a sponge already <laughs> or not, I will use a sponge or I will use a brush. This is the Sigma Concealer Blend Kabuki F79. I have a lot of Sigma brushes. I don't know why. So then I will blend it out. Now, especially if you're using a matte, like full coverage concealer, you can let it sit for a little bit just to ink. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Girl, you crazy. Um, you can let it sit for a bit to increase the opacity, but you don't want to let it sit for too long. If you do set it, or I'm sorry, you do have it on and you go off and you figure out what your cat is getting into, or you make some coffee or something, you don't want to do all of that. But all you need to all you need to do is take some setting spray, spray your brush and you can get a little bit more ease. Rosé. Okay. You can't tell me that this cat is not a human being because she acts like a two-year-old. She acts like a two-year-old and a 14-year-old and a 16-year-old all at the same time. That doesn't make no sense. Okay, so next step is usually my foundation. But lately, what I've also been doing is putting a bit of this um, Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. 
This is especially if I want to like have a bit of a glow or something, you know, just zhuzh it up a little bit. I'm gonna use that same brush that I used for the concealer and just blend that out a touch. Rosé, there is not enough room for both of us to be sitting here. Yes, huh? I didn't put any on her, no animal testing. Okay, so I just get a foundation brush and I start to put the foundation on. And you will see that this will start to blend into my skin as I work it into my skin. Next, I will usually do some powder. I especially will powder it on the places where I have placed the concealer. So I am using another Charlotte Tilbury pro product. <laughs> the Airbrush Flawless Finish. This is a number three, and it's so interesting because I thought it would be way too light, but this is perfect for setting my under eyes. And then I also have number four, and sometimes I use this as an all over powder foundation. The only thing with number four is that I feel like it makes my foundation a bit darker sometimes. So here is number three, and then here is number four. <laughs> And yes, I do have pan in number four, so I use it, but I have come to really like the number three for setting my under eyes. So I will, so I will tap into the powder with my brush and then I will just place it where I want my concealer to be set. So this is like all the places where I put the concealer, just setting it a bit. So once okay. I'm done with that, I will go ahead in with a bronzer or contour. I've really been liking the Revolution Pro, um, Revolution Glow Splendor Ultra Matte Bronzer. Super long name, but I really like it. So I'll usually take a brush that has some sort of angle Revolution Pro actually has a lot of deeper shades, which is really nice. So I can actually wear like three different shades depending on if I want more of a bronzy look or if I want more of a contoured look. So when I'm going for more of a bronzy look, I will typically use the dark shade. As you can see, pan. <laughs> I actually really enjoy hitting pan on things because it makes me feel like I'm getting my money's worth. I feel like that's the second time I've said that. Today. No, no, I haven't gotten a real bronze because I haven't been out in the sun. That's why we fake it. So when I'm on my Zoom calls, they'll be like, girl, where'd you go? Nowhere. <laughs> As you can see, that adds a little bit of like definition to the cheekbones, cheek area, which is nice, right? Mm-hmm. Once I do that, usually I will throw on some blush. So one of my favorites is Spice Cinnamon by Cover FX. This is in the Monochromatic Blush Duo. The only thing I don't like is how dingy and dirty it looks because of the light colored packaging, but I really like this uh, formula as well as these colors. So then I just take a brush and I actually usually tap into both sides. So I get a little bit of the matte, a little bit of the shimmer, and then I just apply it. And yeah, my brushes are not clean because I used them this morning. And don't play like y'all wash your brushes every single day. We don't nobody do that. Now we've got the bronzer and the blush on and we will kind of 
blend them all together in a moment. After that, I usually take a mascara. This is a pretty popular one amongst folks is the Essence Lash Princess and this one is False Lash Effect. This is the one I like the most. I've tried a couple of them um, but this is the one in the this is like what color is this? It's like a bluish green color. Teal? No teal is darker than that. Girl, I don't know. It's this one. Um my lashes are kind of wonky right now because I wore lashes <laughs> earlier today. Um, and I decided to, girl, try to take me out. I decided to do my makeup really quickly for funsies um, and not really remove all the glue from the lashes that were on. I'm not one of those people that has long fluttery lashes. I have sparse little nubs, but that's okay. Work with what you got, girl. I always put some lashes on. So once I am done with that, I will typically powder everything just to kind of set everything. So I will just go ahead and use the Charlotte Tilbury, the number four. Okay, so just grab a brush. Ooh, I want to use that brush. And there we go. So just a big, I think this is from BH Cosmetics. But you know, I have just been confusing several brands this whole time. Girl, I don't know what to do about myself sometimes. So I will just <laughs> set everything with the powder. So now that we've done all of that, I usually will move on to the lips. I do have some um, lip balm on because I want to. Um, and ever since I was a kid, like, I always needed to have lip balm. But usually it was just some Vaseline girl when you grow up in South Central. Um, cannot stand for my lips to be dry. Like, I don't know how people do it. I feel like I need lip balm in every crevice and corner of the house. So this is a lip liner from Milani. I have had this for so long. That's probably not good. It's called the Easy Liner for Lips Retract Retractable Pencil. And this is in the color Sugar Plum. Do you all say mauve or mauve? Which one do you say? Now I had a lipstick that I had been wanting to, I'm wanting to pan that lipstick, but I'm guessing that I might have it downstairs no, I don't. It's right here. <laughs> this is a ColourPop lipstick that I've, again, had for a long time. I just really am trying to get through stuff, give them money's worth, like I said. This one is in Come On Sis. This is when they, ColourPop did a collab with Makeup Shayla. I'm kind of over ColourPop, only because they come out with stuff like every other five minutes. But I have only this much left on this lipstick. And I, 2021, we're gonna, we gonna finish it. So, I usually like it because it's like a pinky nude. And y'all, I have Invisalign now. So I catch myself doing this all the time. <laughs> who was this? Was it Shanae who had her lips like this? Okay, now sometimes if I'm like, oh, I want a little something more, then I will go ahead and do a highlight. This is the Milk Flex Highlighter in Glazed, like a glazed donut. So I get a little bit, I'm not a huge like, like I think I already really just gleam all the time anyway, but I do like to sometimes put on a little highlighter at this point, I will sort of touch up any areas that I've noticed, like I might have, my hand might have rubbed some stuff off or, oh, you leaving? Okay, girl. Um, or I'm noticing that everything is not like just all together or whatevs. Usually that means fixing my brows. Honestly, I just fill in my brows and just follow the natural shape. Um, I 
don't know that I've ever taken on the task of trying to do super Instagrammy brows. I'm just like, let's just make it look like I have some, some brows on my face. How about that? And then we take our hair down. So this is just a regular old look for me. Um, I would probably pop on my blue light blocking glasses to look, you know. <laughs> so this is the face people see at work. Ah, And that's it. Bye.